Kia ora. Welcome to Superu's publication, What Works for Children Exposed to Family Violence. This video summarises the key points for policy makers looking to improve social services. In New Zealand, most family violence offences take place while there are children in the household, and the impact of this exposure is just as harmful as direct physical abuse. Children exposed to family violence are more likely to be depressed and anxious, attempt suicide, display aggression and lash out at others, be traumatised, and be victims or perpetrators of future violence. However, the way we currently respond does not reflect this potential harm, and we have an opportunity to intervene earlier by targeting services to those families that undergo repeat referrals but do not meet criteria for a single catastrophic event. In the political context of social investment, the environment is ripe for change. The types of interventions for children who are exposed to family violence generally fall into one or more of four categories, psychotherapy, parenting skills training, psychoeducation and advocacy. We wanted to know how these interventions relate to the services currently being delivered in New Zealand and so we surveyed service providers. Results show that most providers had goals which related to psychoeducation, with advocacy also covered by just over half of programmes. Specific psychotherapy-related goals were actually the least common across the programmes. We also looked for evidence about the effectiveness of New Zealand programmes and could find only six programme evaluations. These cases showed that the programmes had beneficial effects, but stronger evidence was needed. Because there was insufficient evidence, we also asked service providers about what other sources they had to show the effectiveness of their programmes. By far the most common source of evidence they cited was feedback, which mostly came directly from clients. We also used Superu's evidence rating scale to assess the effectiveness and strength of international evidence. Here, the evidence was overall much stronger and showed that psychotherapy, particularly cognitive behavioural therapy, and parenting skills training have the strongest evidence of beneficial effects, whereas the effectiveness of psychoeducation and advocacy interventions is mixed. The international evidence also showed that interventions are most effective when they are delivered to both children and their non-abusive parent, rather than either group alone. And this is regardless of which type of intervention is actually being delivered. Interventions also have the greatest effects when they are tailored to individual children's needs, when they are delivered by highly qualified staff who have an understanding of how trauma influences children's functioning, and when they are delivered early, ideally before age 7. Looking at the current service provision in New Zealand, along with the international evidence on what works best, there are three main ways that policymakers can make improvements. Our recommendations are that new investments and interventions be focused on psychotherapy and parenting skills interventions, because these are the types most strongly supported by the international evidence, and they're not currently well established in New Zealand. We recommend increasing access to specialist therapy services which have the capacity to provide psychotherapy interventions in particular, and ensuring that interventions for children are integrated with those for their non-abusive parent. We also need more evidence about the effectiveness of programmes in New Zealand for children exposed to family violence, which will require commitment from not only providers, but funders and decision makers across the social sector. For more information and further discussion of the points raised here, please refer to our publication, What Works for Children Exposed to Family Violence.